Permission slips for students are nothing new in the halls of academia, but permission slips for teachers? The Newburgh School District, Orange County's largest, recently instated a new procedure requiring teachers to get administrative permission before showing a movie in class. The rule has received mixed reviews so far, particularly from teachers who, for years, have screened classics such as To Kill a Mockingbird or Schindler's List to their high school students. Some Newburgh Free Academy English teachers are calling the decision an act of censorship, but what do their students think? As long as they're educational, there's nothing wrong with them. And do these movies, in your opinion, have any educational benefits? Yes. They give historical context of what went on. Well, I felt that Schindler's List was a really good movie because we were learning at the, about the Holocaust at the time, and it really showed me a lot about, you know, what was going on because it was in a movie, which was basically like a documentary because it was all true. And I learned a lot from it. Did the violence or nudity bother you? No, it was real. It was real. It showed how what really happened. You shouldn't just fake that. It really happened. You should know about that. I, I probably wouldn't be allowed to see it. My mom wouldn't sign the forms. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. She'd, uh, she'd tell me to find another way to figure it out. <laughs> she'd send me to the library to <laughs> find a book. <laughs>